Hello you guys, welcome to today's vlog. I'm about to head to the gym. Spencer's not joining me today because we have some deliveries coming. So he was just gonna stay here and deal with that, which was really nice of him. But I'm realizing I need to get a new gym bag because I don't really have one. I'm literally just using this Lululemon shopping bag which is fine it does its job i just need to throw like a few things in there so it's fine but it would just be nice to have like a real gym bag so i should probably look for one of those i also need to get a real water bottle for the gym because all i really have for water bottles are my starbucks cups with the straws which i guess i could use but i feel like drinking out of a straw when you're like working out is kind of inconvenient um so i've just been buying these but i really love the like squeezy top water so that's fine but i've just been going for a walk the past couple days so i'm ready to get back in the gym get a hard workout in my face is going to probably be so red when you guys see me next i just pulled my hair back into like a braid and wore my hat and I'm starting to wear my hair like away from my face at least the past couple of days because I had dry shampoo in. Starting to realize that I think dry shampoo is breaking my face out because it's been really bad lately and I noticed especially yesterday it was bad and I put dry shampoo in the morning like a lot of it and I was kind of reading up online and it sounds like it can break you out and another thing it can cause is hair loss which I have been dealing with lately I haven't talked about this yet because it's just something that I'm already really insecure about my hair is naturally just extremely thin to begin with and the fact that I've been losing more hair than normal has like been weighing heavy on me I've been trying to take like other vitamins to help with it but now I'm starting to wonder if it has to do with the dry shampoo so I think I'm gonna take a break from using it see if I notice a difference I'll keep you guys updated I know people say it's better to like not wash your hair just to use dry shampoo and maybe it's because because I'm using too much of it but I don't know I feel like for me personally I would just rather wash my hair every day and I wasn't having issues when I was so I think I'm gonna go back to just washing my hair every day rather than trying to hold off and using the dry shampoo because I'm starting to think that it could have more negative than good benefits um, and it's not for my hat I know that I wore my hat in my last vlog but I've literally washed it every single time I wear it I wash it so it can't be from the hat so I really think just my skin breaking out and my hair thinning is all related to dry shampoo. I'm hoping because that would be a quick fix if I just quit using that. And I prefer clean hair anyways. I can't stand the feeling of like powdery dry shampoo making your hair feel thick. It's just, I don't know, it grosses me out. But I'm about to head to the gym. Today should be a pretty chill day. I just uploaded my last vlog so I'm excited to read your guys' comments while I walk on the treadmill. Always fun to do that. And I'm also really excited for tonight because Spencer and I are going to have a little date night I think we're gonna go to the movies and I haven't been to the movies in probably like six months I don't even remember the last movie I saw we just never go um, but I think we're gonna go see Elvis and I'm excited because I've heard so many good things about it and I heard Austin Butler does a really great job playing Elvis so I'm excited to see that but it is kind of hard to take a break from Stranger Things because we just started the new season and oh my god it is so good but it's freaking scary like I'm not a big fan of scary movies, especially when they're about like ghosts and demons and that sort of thing. And I feel like that's kind of what this season is. And it's just like really freaking me out, especially because I feel like we only ever watch it late at night and then I'm just like creeped out and have trouble falling asleep. But it's so good that like I have to watch it. I'm not not going to. And they also just released the second part of the new season today so I'm trying to stay clear of like Twitter and Facebook because I've already seen some spoilers I hate that people think that it's okay to just like post what happens because you're ruining the show for everyone else but I'm so excited to watch it because it's just so freaking good it's like one of the best shows I would say Stranger Things is my second favorite show Money Heist will forever be my number one favorite show I'm just I love it so much I feel like I could watch it a hundred times and never get sick of it but I need to get to the gym it's already kind of late it's after 10 so let's Head out. at you guys my face is so red I'm so glad I went though I almost didn't go because Spencer wasn't coming and I was like trying to get out of it 
but I'm so glad I went and pushed myself because I feel so much better. So if you guys need some motivation today, go for a walk, go do a workout, just get some sort of exercise because you'll feel so much better after when the endorphins are flowing and you'll just thank yourself after. And I feel so much like happier and just more awake. I'm in such a good mood. But now I'm gonna go to Smoothie King because I earned it and I'm craving a strawberry slim and trim. It's like my favorite smoothie ever. And Spencer was on board. He said he wanted one too. And then I think after that, I should go through the car wash because this car is filthy and it definitely needs wash. Sorry about that. Wait, what can I get third for you? Um, can I get two of the strawberry slim and trims, both 32 ounces, please? Two strawberry slim and trims? Yep. There you are. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good day. You too. Whoops. I'm so excited. It's so freaking good. It's like the best post workout snack. I'm sorry, Spencer. I couldn't wait. <laughs> Unfortunately, the car wash was closed, but it's okay because I started feeling kind of bad because Spencer's smoothie was melting. But I just got back. I'm gonna make a couple eggs because I'm still pretty hungry. Whenever I work out, I'm always extra hungry. So I'm gonna make some eggs and then go shower because I'm very sweaty. I wanted to show you guys my favorite recent purchase. I was so excited when this came in the other day. I actually bought it with full intentions of selling it as the business. I got this at Nordstrom Rack when they were having a sale the other day. I think it was last weekend and the sale was like 40% off already clearance items. Um, so I got this jacket and I think it'll be so cute in the fall time. It's definitely more of a fall stable piece rather than summer but when it came in the mail, I just loved it so much I kept it. They only had sizes large and extra large left. That's why I bought it with the idea of the business in mind. But I don't know. I feel like because it's the oversized look, I feel like it'll work. Um, but let me show you guys. So it's a brand of Retro Fate and it's reversible. It's this like dark black denim with this plaid detailing. I love all the distressed detailing. The plaid part is my favorite. I think this will look so cute just like oversized with a pair of leggings and just like a basic white t-shirt i'll try it on but obviously i'm like wearing a hoodie so it's gonna look kind of weird but it's just so comfortable i love that it's reversible too because i love denim jackets and i just think this will be so cute in the fall time so here's kind of what it looks like definitely oversized baggy look but I love it so much and I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. And I also got it for such a steal. The original price on this jacket is on the tag. It's originally $650. They carry this brand on Revolve. It's really popular. Um, and I think I got it for just a little over $100. And then, like I said, it's reversible. So let me show you guys what it looks like if you were to flip it. It's basically just a denim jacket and then the distress detailing shows that plaid through it. So here's what it looks like reverse but i like the plaid side i think it's really cute but i also wanted to sit and talk to you guys about our experience the other day also i made a coffee i know we're all so surprised but we had quite the experience the other day with an estate sale company it was a last minute thing spencer just happened to get on estatesales.net and he saw this estate sale that showed all of these amazing designer items. There were like Louis Vuitton Neverfulls and like new bags and new shoes that literally came out like this year or last year. So obviously being us, we were like very excited and we called them because it was an appointment only at state sale. So basically she wanted to like go up and meet with people. And this is like a reputable company. Like they had another estate sale going on at someone's house that same day. So she was like, okay, well, I can meet you guys at three. So we were like, okay, like that works. We had already left, pulled out of the house. She called us back and she's like, actually, like none of us have had lunch. So if you don't care, like we do it later on tonight, like I want to eat lunch with the girls, blah, 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 which I thought was kind of unprofessional. Like, I, I don't know, like I wasn't too mad, but at the same time, I just know if Spencer and I were going to go meet with a client, we would literally just like swing through McDonald's and grab a burger or something. Like if we were that hungry, we wouldn't like move our clients stay around especially if they were you know willing to spend thousands of dollars driving out of the way and they clearly had already left the house but we were like okay that's fine Spencer was super nice He's like no I understand and so we moved it to later on that night we ended up meeting her at 7 30 in a parking lot which sounds kind of sketchy but I don't know it just kind of made sense after talking to her and she like explained things like why she was doing it the way she was like it was a two million dollar home the client didn't want people in her house yada 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 so anyways, we meet with her. She immediately like 
pulls two bags that we weren't really asking about um, out of her front passenger seat and they looked authentic but the problem was is we knew that she was asking way too much for them um, in order for us to like buy them to resell so we were like no like you know can we see the never fulls and like the stuff she had already kind of given us prices on that we knew we were close on so we went around to her trunk and she opens up her trunk and everything is just thrown in the back there a ton of designer items with a cooler and there's like literally soda cans and everything like just thrown in the back and on the pictures online they were like nicely in boxes and everything so it was kind of weird and this woman was like very talkative so i was kind of talking to her while spencer was looking at the bags like i was holding one of the bags she was also very weird about just handing them to us to look and i thought it was just because maybe she was afraid we would like steal it or something like i don't know i would feel weird like just handing people a bunch of designer stuff in the middle of a parking lot so i kind of understood that but then some of these bags that she was saying, like she said the Neverfulls were brand new. This woman only wore them once. And then when she pulled them out, there were like very clear like marks on the outside. That was the one thing I noticed because like I said, I was kind of busy talking to her. She was very, very talkative. Um, and so she was like, oh, like that's probably just bird shit. Like, oh, I had this in my car, like blah, 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 which... I wouldn't think somebody would do with a client's items considering you're supposed to be selling these getting top dollar and you're just throwing them in the back of your trunk like it was just very unprofessional and she's like oh it's just bird poop like it'll rub off blah 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 and I was like I don't know like this kind of looks glittery like there was no way it was going to come off and she's saying like oh you could just take like a marker to it which like who's gonna do that to a two thousand dollar bag like that's crazy so anyway spencer kind of like made an offer on a few bags she was like yeah that's fine so we were like okay great and i'm like do you care if we just like look over the condition of some of these other ones because like i said she was being very hesitant to kind of like hand us them so she's like oh yeah sure and like hands the other one that we were gonna get and spencer's looking at it and he's kind of taking a while like i said i was so busy talking to her that I just didn't really even get a chance to look at the bags like I was more so holding them so Spencer could look at them and that was when it kind of started going off in his head because the last bag she handed us was very obviously fake um, like the inside it wasn't a suede interior it was more like a faux suede and like things were just off the paint like it just wasn't good quality so that's when it started going off in his head then he starts looking back at the Neverfulls the one Neverfull was the best fake I think we've ever seen. It had the date code, it was like real leather straps, like it was a very high quality fake. However, there were very small things that were off on it. Um, he even like started showing her how like some things just weren't centered, some of the paint was like very slightly off and just things that you wouldn't get if you were actually buying a bag from Louis Vuitton. And then the other Neverfull was actually a pretty bad fake and like we should have caught that from the start. And another thing is like in the Neo now, she kept saying like, oh, like this bag doesn't have a stamp. Well, from what we were reading online, like just being in the parking lot for those like 20 minutes that we were there or whatever, is that it wouldn't have a stamp if it was from this year, but she was claiming it was from last year. Things like that just weren't adding up. So Spencer's like, honestly, like, I don't think we're gonna get any of it. And thankfully she was like pretty understanding about that. Um, but then we started looking at some of the shoes that she had pictured online and the quality was so bad. They were like obvious fakes. And then she even like tried one on standing there in the parking lot, got a big scuff on the bottom and they were supposed to be brand new. And so I pulled up that exact same shoe online and I think it was like Fashion File had sold it. So I was showing her and comparing the bottoms. I'm like, yeah, like this doesn't look anything like the authentic ones. And she's like, yeah, actually I was, I agree. Like I was thinking the same thing. And she just never acted like surprised that these were fake, but she was still asking like $800 for these bags. Like obviously very high prices. She's selling them as real. Spencer even asked her when we first got there if they're all authentic. She said, yes. And the worst part of this is the entire time I'm talking to her, she's continuing to make racial comments. She even was talking about Jews, just terrible things about people of color. And I didn't even know what to say. I was just so stunned over the whole thing. And I just felt extremely uncomfortable after finding out these bags were fake. And I just felt like we were in such a big scam. But thankfully, we were able to just like leave and leave it as it was and get out of there like no harm no foul but it's just it's so disgusting that there are people out there like this that are running businesses and they think that this is okay and she obviously knew that she was running a scam and i'm honestly kind of wondering if her client even exists i'm wondering if it's maybe just all of her stuff 
So moral of the story being, people are shady. They will scam you, they'll lie. People are racist, they're hateful. And we just left feeling so down and just, it's so sad to think how many bad people there really are. Like you always wanna think the best of people, but sometimes you just need to like put your guard up and be weary of how people can really be. And after we left, of course I got online and I was like reading up on her company and trying to see the reviews that she had. And she had absolutely terrible reviews. I think there were only like four or five, but they were all one star. And then there was even a story about how she hit somebody else's phone out of their hand after accusing them of stealing and all this other stuff. And even people that hired her to do their estate sales were like leaving reviews saying how horrible it was. So that was our experience the other day. So crazy. The only good thing was after it, we did get to go to Trader Joe's, which I was happy about that because it got more to bully. I got the last one in the store. So that was pretty fun. And then I got a bouquet of flowers. Finally, I haven't had any flowers in our new house. So we got that and just like other grocery things. But I was just so mind blown over the whole thing. And I feel like even the next day, Spencer and I were just like, wow, like we probably should have said something more. But at the same time, when you're dealing with people like that, you just don't know like what they're capable of. So it's kind of scary. So just stay safe, be careful and stay away from crappy crappy people about to head to the movie theater i'm so excited i don't think i said but there were like no times available because it's a friday night we just yeah. didn't think that one now through five o'clock yeah so we're going at five but thankfully the theater we're going to you can order dinner food while you eat so i think it'll be pretty fun to just like have dinner there um but i want to show you guys the bouquet i got from trader joe's the other day because it looks so pretty um, Trader Joe's bouquets are the best because this was only like $12 or something and it looks so good There's so many different things in it Also, I feel like we need to talk about the fact that it's so hard to know what to wear to the movie theaters because For example today, it's 92 degrees out. So obviously it's really hot But a movie theater is always cold. So like I just wore a short sleeve shirt and leggings So that my legs would be warm and then I tied a hoodie around my waist But I feel like I'm still gonna be hot outside. So I don't know. We're just making do with what we have but Head out. Hey Spencer, what did you think? Um, it was good. It wasn't great, but it was good. I agree. Um, I wouldn't recommend to like, oh my God, you need to go see it. It was interesting for us because we didn't really know anything about Elvis. However, I feel like if you did know his story, then yeah. it's just not as interesting. So it was kind of cool, like learning the backstory and everything like that. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me and stay tuned for the next vlog. Bye. See ya.